guys my name is aniket gaikwad and i am third year bca student in sayo college of management studies and information technologies so today we are going to see uh, a small project or a game which is developed using python language so uh, before that uh, we have to install one module in our python ideally is that uh, free games to install it we have to just type it pip install free games and it will automatically install that module in our python then next thing is that the person should have a good knowledge of uh, four quadrant graph so it should he should know where the x and y is positive and negative as you can see with the help of this image that x and y is positive are in first quadrant both are negative in third quadrant one um, means x is uh, positive and y is negative on fourth quadrant and x is negative and y is positive in second quadrant so it will help to uh, us to plot our object in the window because we need to give position uh, of x and y uh, to plot our object over the window now second thing is that the, the person should know uh, uh, how the functions work in python okay there is a small difference between uh, function in python and functions in c and java uh, because uh, there is no need to uh, mention a written type in the uh, python whereas we need to uh, uh, need to uh, uh, give a written type uh, in other language okay provide a written type in a c++ or uh, java okay then uh, and also a person should know a few predefined functions of turtle framework so basically turtle framework is nothing but uh, uh, used for graphical representation so we, with the help of that we can draw uh, any kind of shapes that we want for our project and uh, our games okay so now we will see our project uh, so it is a uh, uh, it is a pac-man game okay so i will run it and show you how it works so it will take little while, a small time okay so now we can see that initially there are four ghosts so the red ones are ghosts and uh, one pacman the yellow one is pacman and uh, there are dots over here this is a food for the pacman the aim of the go uh, this game is that uh, I have to eat uh, means Pac-Man have to eat the, all the food which is available over here and making and it makes sure that uh, he does not get collide uh, with, collide with this uh, red ghost. Okay, so uh, there are four keys that uh, will control this Pac-Man. So left for left arrow key for moving left, right arrow key for light, and down for down. Uh, moving downwards and uh, up for upward so i have to eat as many as can as many i can and i have to make sure that i i will not collide with this red ghost so you can see that i just collided with the uh, red ghost over here so the game will stop and it will show my score so my score is 23 means i able to eat only 23 food which is available uh, on the, uh, the in the game okay uh, so uh, now you understand how this game works and as uh, one more thing is that as i eat more and more food the speed and the number of pacmans will increase okay so so uh, as i eat more and more food the difficulty level of this game will increase okay so now we uh, understand how this work now i will see uh, i will show you uh, how the <coughs> pacman uh, program works so before that uh, we should uh, understand how the turtle uh, framework work okay so uh, to understand this uh, i have create uh, i have a small example for you so for uh, from turtle import star so this is a model that we need to import to uh, um, use a turtle framework then next thing is that p is equals to turtle the p is the object of turtle then there is one for loop which will iterate for four times and it will draw a one square so forward function will draw one line of 50 length unit and uh, p will uh, left p dot left will help to uh, turn uh, means uh, give the direction where the line should be go 
so at the end we will see one square is drawn okay so we will run this thing and we can see the output okay you can see that one square is drawn now if i want to give a background color or a fill color in the my square i can do that with using these things like a bg color black it will give a black color to the background of the uh, my window uh, total window and p dot uh, graphic color uh, blue means it will fill a blue color in my box so it will fill using this thing begin fill and end fill so now you can see that it will show one uh, uh, window with a um, blue color square so this is how we use this is how we use turtle framework now we will move on to our code it is a, a, a quite easy to understand if you have a good knowledge of functions as i already told you so this is a function set of function which is available in our turtle so it will set our uh, window okay uh, then hide turtle so hide turtle is used to hide the arrow symbol which come in the window okay tracer uh, tracer function will show how the uh, how the our object is drawn like uh, uh, previously we seen how the square is drawn okay so if we uh, un uh, if we comment this then you can show see the difference okay uh, and I will run the program so you can see that difference between uh, tracer is uh, when is commented and it is uh, now drawing all the paths that we needed for our game so if we uncomment it it will uh, take less time okay and it will directly show us the final product see my final product so it is uh, so it will not waste time in drawing all the things uh, and it will just show me my final product then there are the writer it is object of the turtle so writer i am saying it to go to the this position 160 by 160 means x axis 160 and y axis 160 so it will go to that particular position and uh, writer dot uh, so the color of uh, that object is white and writer dot write score so it will score it will print the number of food that i eat and uh, that uh, and the uh, of that color a number of food that I eat. So now listen. Listen function is used to, to uh, work with the keys of the keyboard. So on key function is used to, to uh, give command to the right key, left key, up key, down key. Okay. So whenever I key, uh, press the left, down, up, any uh, key out of four, this function will be called change. Change function will be called. Okay then world function world function is uh, called to me uh, to draw our world means that pac-man game okay so this is a world function i already show how the pg color works and part dot color works okay now here are open for loop okay it will iterate uh, it will iterate as many time as the tiles object have the element in it okay number of element in it so if a tile is greater than one if it is green then it will draw a square otherwise it will not so at the end we will see one path is drawn okay so this is how it will draw so you can see here the dot is drawn okay this is dot for nothing but for the food okay then next thing is move so move function is called because uh, to move the ghost as well as the pac-man okay so when a uh, food is uh, when a uh, tile index is equals to equals to one that means there is food and pac-man will eat that so score will increase by one 
and uh, uh, while increasing one we will make tile index uh, value equal to two so that if we uh, uh, come again to that particular index uh, where we already visited then the count of score will not increase okay so uh, so the, this is the uh, this is the code of line which increases the speed and the number of pacmans in our game so as we uh, eat more and more food the speed of our pacman as well as the ghost will increase and number of ghosts also increase in the uh, game so uh, now this will the dot function will draw the uh, our pacman uh, similarly for dot red equals uh, red it will draw the ghost then on temper function is very important function so it will uh, uh, call this move function uh, after every i i millisecond okay so it is starts with 100 and it will uh, it will uh, it will decrement as i it uh, as it uh, eat more and more food because i already shown whenever uh, it's this uh, state of score uh, state score a is divisible um, uh, by 10 then it will decrease by 20 millisecond so change uh, one more thing is that over here so whenever the uh, whenever the difference between the position of pacman and the point is less than uh, less than 20 milli uh, 20 units then it is uh, uh, understand that the pacman is collided with ghost so it will return and uh, our uh, game will stop okay uh, means game is over so that is the thing that we all uh, need to know about this thing uh, this game uh, and yeah that's all and i hope you uh, have uh, get uh, knowledge from this uh, uh, demonstration and uh, Thank you.